So if you only had one choice but to be in third gear in your car for all purposes, highway driving, climbing hills, starting from a red light, that's what it's like having a hub motor. The acceleration is gonna be really slow. You're not gonna really be able to climb hills very well. It's gonna be all right around like mid-range, mid-gear, it's gonna be fine. And you know, towards the higher end, it'll be, it'll be okay. But it's just not nearly as effective way to use a motor versus using gears to like really dial in, use that power where you want it. So a mid-drive is gonna outperform a hub motor across all speed levels. Low end, climbing hills from a start, all the way through to top end. It's using a more efficient gear ratio. So it's gonna have a higher end top speed and a better lower end. Performance at the 750 watt uh, limit, a mid-drive is hands down a better performer. You're gonna, if you were to ride on one side by side, you would be like, whoa, this is night and day. A mid-drive is going to really outperform a hub motor, especially on hill climbing, because you're able to use your gears in the back and really dial in where you wanna select that power. You're pinpointing which gear ratio you wanna be in. With a, a gear, with a, a geared hub motor, you're stuck in that. You could add power to it with using your human power, but you know, at max, you're probably at like 300 watts if you're standing on the pedals and you're really giving it. Whereas, you know, a hub motor is just dialing in. It's gonna be able to climb way better and across the entire spectrum. Although, you're gonna have to shift it into gear. It's like a car. If you were to put it in first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, you're pinpointing that power of that little motor in your car. I don't know why in my head I'm picturing like a little tiny Honda Civic or something from 1989. With